Each of us has a different learning style. For me, I'm visual and kinesthetic, meaning if I see it, it sinks in. If I do it, it sinks in. If I hear it, it's gone. So we all have different learning styles. Instructors have different teaching styles. For me, since I'm visual, I love using the chalkboard or a glass board or whatever, it would be a whiteboard, to see it. Jesus, when he taught, taught in parables. Now a parable, hold that thought. What's that? Parabola. It's a Greek word, it means to throw, like a frisbee throwing in a, a big arc, or throwing, casting a fishing net out, and it causes a big arc. Parabola, to throw and to cause an arc. So for a parabola, you have point A corresponding to point B. Piece of cake, right? Same distance to that center line. Same distance down to that particular point. A, B, point C corresponds to point D. All right, same distance, etc. This side corresponds to that side in equal manner. So a parabola turned into a parable, same theme, you have a hypothetical story. Once upon a time, a sower went out to sow some seeds. And as he sowed the seeds, some of the seeds fell on the pathway. Some fell amongst the rocky ground. Some fell amongst the thorns and the, and the weeds. And some fell on good soil. So it's a hypothetical story, once upon a time. It has a correspondence with real life. So, hypothetical. Story. To real life situation or application would even be better good enough so jesus tells a story and it wasn't original jesus by the way plato told parables all sorts of ancient teachers told in this parabolic manner hypothetical story and the idea behind the parables was this not everybody got everything Great story, but like, what's it mean? Jesus used this wonderful psychological way of, I'm going to tell a story, hypothetical, once upon a time, this happened, that happened, and here's the conclusion. And if people can make that connection on their own, then it really sinks in. I could lecture till I'm blue in the face and be here for an hour and a half lecturing about, I don't know, the nature of the parabolic form. You'd fall asleep after maybe two or three minutes. But if I simply say, a parable is based on a parabola and give you that much information and then give you a parable about the fellow with the soils and the seeds and etc. Uh, and let it kind of sink in for a while. And a week from now, I come back and say, okay, what do you think that maybe meant? You'll all have certain takes on that. And you own that because you came up with that conclusion on your own, as opposed to being spoon-fed all this information. Jesus taught this parables the same way. He had a great meaning. He wanted it as a situation, an application in real life. But he told hypothetical stories so that if they get it, that's great. And if they don't get it, don't worry about it. God's in no hurry. Jesus is in no hurry. I know that when I hear stories and can make my own connections, and I own that by that light bulb going on, it sticks with me on lots of different levels over time in the profound kind of what's it mean underneath all of that. It makes them a greater impression if I can kind of work out what it means. And so Jesus taught in this parabolic format. Now, sometimes the apostles said, well, what do, the, what do the parable mean? And so Jesus said to them, well, to them is given the stories, but I'll tell you the minute details and how it really applies in a situation now. And so Jesus would detail out, okay, so the sower, not to use a sewing machine, but to, you know, scatter the seed, the sower is Jesus himself. The seed, he says, is the word or his teachings, or his message, and the soils. Well, I'm not going to ruin the story and give you a spoiler for it. This is as far as you get today. But each of the soils, the, uh, the pathway, the hard path, the, the rocky soil, the weedy soil with, with the, th the, the thistles, and then the good soil that grows things. So each of those particular soils has a significance. And Jesus told his apostles and disciples, here's what this means. 
But to the crowds, to the people, to the ones who are just listening to the story, we're going to let them make their connections. If they get that, great. If they don't, there's other parables. So that's the nature of the parable that you'll see in Matthew's Gospel, Mark's Gospel, Luke's Gospel, and John's Gospel. There's about 30 parables that Jesus, are recorded, that Jesus taught. So hopefully this will help you understand uh, when you come to those parables when you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. What's a parable all about?